Hey guys, it's Kendra. Today I am packing for Disneyland. We're going to Disneyland for two nights. We leave tomorrow morning. We're going to be at the park all day Sunday and then all day Monday and then we come back Tuesday morning. So I mentioned that we were going there and a lot of you guys asked if I could show you what I'm packing for them. So as I was doing, the girls are going down for a nap soon. So I wanted to get some stuff done now. And then I'll try to get stuff that like I don't need in the room packed. They're playing in there if you hear them. I'm gonna keep it easy and just bring this bag for them for like their clothes and shoes. It's by um, Herschel. And it's a diaper bag actually. But I don't use it as a diaper bag. I just use it as like a duffel bag. And I've brought this on like most trips that we go on. So let me show you the outfit. You guys wanna see my belly right now? It's so big, I'm 20 weeks on Monday. Also, it's supposed to rain the entire time we're at Disneyland. Luckily, I bought them stuff um, a long time ago, and it still fits, because I saw like the cutest little tops at Zara, Mickey ones, the mini ones, but good thing it is gonna be cold because I got them long sleeve stuff. And then I have rain jackets. So, here are the, I don't think Zara sells them anymore, but I will do my best to link some Mickey and Minnie options for you guys. If you are looking to take your kids to Disney or just want some Disney stuff, there's always so many cute things at Zara and H&M especially. So I love these sweatshirts. It's Disney baby. It has little stars on the side. And I have this in this size two to three for the girls. They're basically like in a three T right now. So they'll wear that for their tops. And then I got these pants, which I've been wearing for like months now. But again, they're from Zara. So I like these little taupey ones. Isn't that cute? They're super comfy for the girls and these are in a size two to three and then black ones. I have rain boots for them. They're up there, the black ones, but they, I don't really think they fit them that much. So, and I was also thinking they probably won't be the most comfortable type of shoes to wear at the park. So I'm going to bring their Adidas because these I know fit. They're easy to slide on and since they're rubbery, I feel like they'll be better. And then these are the rain jackets that I'm taking for tomorrow. These are from Walmart actually. Got them a while ago. They're just this cute army green color. And the brand is Wonder Nation and they're in a 3T. And they're nice and like cotton lined. So I have those for the girls to wear on top of those outfits. For um, Monday, here are the tops that I got from them. Again from Zara and two to three, two to three years. Isn't this cute little glitter in there? So I think Violet will be in this one and then June will be in this one. I love the little sequins. And then here are the pants. I got originally some pink ones and then these black ones to wear with those shirts. But Andrew's mom got them these rain jackets the other day. So the pink, I don't really like pink and purple together. These are from Old Navy and they're in a 3T. So they'll wear these on Tuesday, on Monday with the little sequin tops. And then I'll do these gray leggings with this one. And these are from Cat and Jack from Old Navy, or not, uh, Target. And then these are from Baby Gap. These are in two years. And they're like nice fleece ones. So I'll do these leggings with this top. And then I also brought an extra change of clothes. Again, because it might, they are gonna get wet. So I brought two extra leggings, some black ones and some gray ones. They're from Zara and Gap. And then I'm just bringing these little basic thermals, just nothing fancy, just something to kind of get them through because I'm gonna put these sweatshirts on. And I got these from a friend of ours when the girls were really little. <laughs> How cute are these? And she got these actually at the park. I'm bringing these. I got these from Etsy. I'll link them for you. I got these for Halloween when the girls are Minnie Mouse. So I'm gonna take those. Who knows if they'll even wear them. They'll probably end up in my diaper bag. And then I'm gonna bring these beanies that I have. I've had these for them for a while. They're Baby Gap, two to three years. And then I'm bringing a lot of socks. So. These are from Gap, I believe. I usually get theirs, oh, Old Navy, two to three T. So we're gonna bring two pairs per day because again, if their feet get wet. So we got a lot of socks. And then I have jammies in here. I just got the cutest jammies from Gap. So these little duckies. Oh, I just realized I don't have enough jammies. I brought two, but I need four. <laughs> 
I swear I always underpack with them. Like I never, I always underestimate what I'm gonna need. And here's another pair. So these are from Burt's Bees Baby and these are kind of new too. I got these in a 4T because I just, I need to always buy pajamas a little bit bigger because you can roll them and they honestly pretty much fit them already. And then look how cute this print is. I love those. Here's the top. So, the girls are playing so good in the playroom right now. I'm like, this is amazing. Watch the second I say that they're gonna leave. So that is it for clothes. We got shoes, we got jackets. Um, I just got a big order of diapers in the mail. We still are using the Pampers Pure. They're in a size five. I'm putting 10 diapers in my diaper bag. I'll show you my diaper bag in a sec. Um, I'll probably stick the rest of the diapers. I'll fit them in this bag along with an extra set of wipes. So I'll do a pack of wipes. Hi, she has her mini skirt on. A pack of wipes in here and a pack of wipes in my diaper bag. That should be good. Okay, so I have my diaper bag packed. So I'm gonna show you how I have it kind of organized and then I'll take everything out and share with you specifics. And this diaper bag, I have been using from day one when the girls were first born and it's been my go-to ever since. I've tried a bunch and I definitely like this one the most. So it's the Skip Hop Greenwich backpack and I have it in this kind of blushy mauve color. I also have it in a charcoal gray color as well. And in here I like to kind of keep it categorized by pouches. So I have my diapers in the back. They're in these little kind of I'll, when I have everything pulled out, I'll show you that. But I like to do one patch for like my personal things, like products and that type of thing, and um, products for the girls that I might need. And then this pouch has snacks in here. I don't usually keep this in here, but since we're going to a theme park, I'm gonna bring some snacks. And look how cute this is, and it's Winnie the Pooh. I just realized that. And I would definitely recommend bringing like soft pouches in your diaper bag so that they can condense more and they're just, they fit a little bit better. Um, and then I also keep a swaddle blanket always in here just in case of spills or um, if we need to lay them down and change them, it's just nice to have a blanket. And I feel like when I don't have one, I always wish I had one. Um, so here you can see kind of better what it looks like. So it's just like one deep pocket. I keep the diapers back there. I have a set of wipes here, which I can use for their hands and also when I'm changing their diapers. And then this I always keep in here. It's like an arm and hammer thing for your dirty diapers so that they don't smell. And then I have a little thing of band-aids, just like my first aid kind of kit. So that's everything that's loose. Oh, I also have some extra crayons in case we're somewhere and we need crayons. Um, but that's all I keep that's like loose. Everything else I keep contained because I just feel like everything is out of hand on the side. I keep this part open for my phone. That's where I like to drop my phone in, but definitely you could keep a water bottle there. And then up top is where there's like a changing pad. So I don't use that that often anymore, but I used to use it a lot. And then there's another thing here. I have little, um, these are sticky things for the table if you're at a restaurant and then also some more of these things for dirty diapers and then the front pocket is where I keep my wallet I have a little wallet I don't know where it is though I was gonna just bring some cards with me and this is where I keep my sunglasses and hand sanitizer because these are all the things that I need on hand like right away this one is by honest so that's all I keep in the front I just keep it very simple. So this one I always have with me in my diaper bag. I have a hairbrush in here. I have some sunscreen for the girls. This is from California Baby. I also have the California Baby diaper rash cream. I don't use this often, but you never know. And then some more hand sanitizer. This tends to get lost. And then I have just some like lip products. This is some perfume and I never use that. So I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, a band-aid, some floss, and then here's some chapstick. This is, I also have a chapstick in my zipper compartment in the front, just to grab quick. But this one I like too is by Babo, and it's SPF 15, which is great when you're out and it's tinted. And then I have a couple lip glosses. I definitely just wear lip gloss on the go. I don't do lipstick or anything, but I have one from Aveda, one from Butter London, and then one from Urban Decay. And then as far as my snacks go, oh, and I also, will bring their bottles 
with me and their water bottles, but I'll probably just leave those in the hotel and then we'll just get stuff at the park. But in here I have stuff for myself and also for the girls. So I brought some kind uh, breakfast bars because it, sometimes it's hard to find gluten-free snacks. And also, since I'm pregnant, I'm always hungry. I brought two things of this trail mix from Trader Joe's, which I love. I brought two of these for the girls, two of these Annie's crackers, two of these pouches. Again, we can get a lot of food in the park, but it's nice to have a few things just with you in case. Two things of these raisins. I brought a granola bar for myself. This is by the company Rise. And then I also have a Z bar for the girls. They don't typically eat these that much, but you never know. And then just a regular kind bar for me. So those are all the snacks I have, just like packaged stuff that we can just grab. And this is usually what I bring with us when we're going to the zoo too. It's kind of like the same thing. We have season passes to the zoo, so I usually like pack up my diaper bag quickly before we leave or the night before just so I'm ready to go. I can save some time. So let me show you the few things in their room that I am gonna bring for sleep. So we're gonna take two pack and plays. I will link the ones we have down below. We actually have two different ones. One is by Nuna and one is by, I'm trying to think what the brand is, but I like that one more. So I'll put it down below for you guys though. Um, and then I'm gonna bring their blankets. So these ones are, the toddler size blanket from Serenoni. They're amazing, super soft. So I'll bring both of those with them and then I'll bring them each an animal. So this is the one that Violet likes right now. These animals are from Mary Meyer and then June's holding hers right now out there, but hers is a little bit smaller than this. I just got these big ones, but I'll bring a sound machine. This one I like cause it's just simple. The Grocco one, we also have the Hatch baby one. But I think I'm gonna save that for the baby coming because um, right now this one just is simple and works. So I'll take that with us. I'm cooking some dinner right now if you hear like crackling. Also, Disneyland sells so much stuff at the park. So I, I know some people would rather bring like extra stuff so they don't have to buy stuff. I'm like opposite and I'd rather buy less, bring less. And then if we absolutely need something, we can just buy it there. Either in downtown Disney at the hotel, they usually have a lot of stuff too, um, or just at the park. I'll actually show you some things that I'm packing for myself as far as like clothes and shoes go. I have to shower and do my hair, but since it's rainy the whole time, I think I'm just gonna wear like a baseball hat, so I'll probably just do my hair today and then use dry shampoo the rest of the time I'm there. Show me your jacket you're gonna wear tomorrow. You like it? That's so cute. What? <gasps> Mickey, are you going to see Mickey tomorrow? Mommy, Mommy, He's at Disneyland. I can't find him. Who are you looking? You're looking for Mickey. We're Mickey. We're Mickey. Mickey, where are you? In there? Mickey, in there? He's hiding. We'll wear that tomorrow, by that, okay? Mickey, I'll do this. Good. Got Mickey in there. Oh, he's under the bed. To fit. To fit. Yeah, doesn't fit? Mickey, no. Mickey, don't do it. Honey, it's okay. Mickey, you can dance with me. Mom, down. Oh, Violet. Where's my gold dress? June, Violet wants to dance with you. So, where am I dressed? You want to wear your dress? Is a princess. Why don't you want to dance with her, baby? She can dance. Say please, Violet. Please. Please, Violet. No. Just dance. Violet, she really wants to dance with you. No. Why not? I'll swing. I'm a swing. You're gonna swing. The other thing I was thinking about doing is bring an extra pair of shoes just in case. So I think I'm gonna bring these ones. They just are these slip-on. But again, they're leather, so I, they shouldn't absorb as much water. Shower, check. Right now, I'm gonna get all my toiletries together. So I usually do one bag with makeup and one bag 
with like skincare and stuff. toiletries in here. I have some dry shampoo, some leave-in conditioner stuff if I shower there, uh, cleanser, deodorant, chapstick, floss, toothbrush, toothpaste, shampoo and conditioner. I have a day cream. This one's from Airborean and it's kind of tinted so love that. It has SPF. I'm bringing this through my serum from Glow Recipe, the watermelon moisturizer. This I just got for night cream that's been lovely from fresh and then let's see this is briogeo the scalp revival dry shampoo love that anything else special i want to show you in here also this is really really good this makeup remover from basha i really enjoy that all right i am finally packing for myself the girls are just playing with boxes so my packing for this trip is very basic because it's gonna be raining the whole time so I don't really feel like I'm gonna dress up cute. Another reason which is making me very happy to not really care is that I'm pregnant. <laughs> so it's not like I have many options. I got this sweatshirt from H&M with this Mickey. It's actually from the men's section. It's Mickey. So it's just a black crew neck. Got it in a small. If they still have it I'll link it for you guys. And underneath I'm just gonna wear this gray maternity tank top from Mother Bee Maternity. And then I'm gonna wear this jacket, which we just got from Just Fab. It's in navy. And then I'm gonna wear these black, one of these black leggings. Um, one of them is from Pink Blush, and then those are from Windsor. I got them in a large, so they're just like bigger. I also have this Mickey top. This sweatshirt from Gap, but they don't sell anywhere. I wore this for Halloween. It's not that long though, so I'm gonna wear a black tank under it. Oh, and I'm gonna wear this white uh, North Face over my Mickey sweatshirt, because this sweatshirt's kind of thick, and I get really hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this thin, just like shell, and then I'll wear the heavier navy over this one, and then when we leave, I'm just gonna bring another pair of leggings, um, just another tank top, and then this super soft sweater, just like this cardigan. So that's what I'm packing. Then I'm packing socks, and um, I'm gonna wear my Nikes the whole time too. So that's pretty much it, and then pajamas. What are you doing? Jen's relaxing. Wish us luck. Where are we going tomorrow? Mickey's house. Mickey's house, yay!